Hi guys, this is Crossy of Eclipse Gaming TV. Welcome to my channel and welcome to GTA Online. Apologies, it's been a long, long time since I've got any kind of video up, uh, as you may have heard from various channel updates, etc. Um, I'm really struggling to record videos uh, without having a, a permanent place to live as such, which uh, I am working on. I haven't become rich overnight, so that hasn't quite panned out. But I thought what I'll do, as I've just got myself a new graphics card, um, long story short, GTA did not look anywhere near as sexy as it needed to, so I've gone for a little upgrade and I thought it might be worth showing you guys uh, what I've been getting up to uh, car wise, so this is basically a garage tour and a chance for me to uh, show off as well with the high level of graphics. So already I've uh, upgraded myself, I've got some new digs, still uh, got the place uh, by the, I say by the beach, it's actually by the docks. And I've bought quite a few cars for myself. Nothing really that crazy, to be honest. There's a few nice ones in there, a few supercars, but compared to some collections, um, it could be a lot better. The third garage that we'll get to has got uh, some of the um, really weird elements to my collection that aren't worth a whole lot. So, right here then, we've got the uh, Fist of Comet right at the start. So, uh very quick break, he needs a bit of work. Nice fetching sort of gold caramel type colour. Apologies if I struggle with the description of colours, I am kind of colour blind. It's, a, it's an issue, so I might get some of these completely wrong, but hey, it's all good fun. Uh, so yeah, that's the comment. Nice and, and quick. Um, very effective. Um, to be honest, I haven't upgraded a lot of these as far as engines and the like go, because I haven't unlocked the stuff yet. But uh, you can see the red uh, Brembo calipers as well, nice and flashy. So here we've got the Banshee Topless, an old favourite from uh, GTA 3, I think this one was. You could find a couple of Banshees kicking around and I was uh, really glad to uh, grab one of these. Um, Bravado Banshee, again, very similar spec to the uh, Porsche lookalike here compared to the Comet. But uh, yeah, huge fan of that. Drop top as well. Let's do this to leave me alone. Uh, right, next we have uh, the Pegasi Batty uh, 801RR, um, very good stats on this one, bit of uh, Redwood Cigarettes livery as well, cheeky bit of advertising. Um, I don't ride bikes uh, all that often to be honest, but I've always been a bit of a bike fan. So next we've got the uh, Turismo R, the uh, hybrid um, supercar, I need to do a bit of work in this colour scheme. If you didn't need any uh, examples about my colour blindness, trying to get blue and green to go together. Hang on, I'm just going to take this. We might be ready to move on this thing. If you want to work, you'll get a knock on your door any minute. Okay, sorry about that, guys. He just wasn't going to stop ringing otherwise. So one from the original video, we got the uh, Vapid Blade. Um, <laughs> I was handling isn't a stat, but if it was one of the stats that we were looking at here, it wouldn't be particularly high. But uh, I, I really like this thing. Um, big fan of muscle cars. Not the most practical, not the best in races as such, but I like him anyway. And uh, I've got a few weird and wonderful ones. Need to do something with the rims on that though. Now this one, uh, the JB700, kind of an old school Aston Martin type feel. With the uh, machine guns on the front and everything. Um, again, really like this one. And they're quite fetching. Uh, not quite British Racing Green, but I felt we needed that kind of vibe with it. Now, uh, a Karen Futo here. If drifting was a big part of the game, this is probably going to be the best vehicle for it. Again, need to do something with the wheels on it at some point, but I'm finding cash is a bit of an issue. Um, I'm a huge fan of the uh, Nissan 200SX, which uh, you... May or may not know, and even though this isn't quite a, a 200SX, it's um, got that kind of vibe to it, I think, and a nice chunky exhaust, which you might be able to see. So, uh, yeah, I like cars that go a bit sideways, and even though the game doesn't really have that dynamic in it as such, unless you uh, mod it, um, it's the thought that counts, I guess. Now, this one, um, Chevelle Picador, uh, it's only 9k to buy this thing. Um, sort of hipster um, pickup truck type thing and the reason I bought this one is I was thinking I could stick some white wheels on it and really turn it into an old-school uh, 
hipster mobile. Um, hasn't managed to work out though because I can't get the white wheels on it. I don't know if I need to uh, change from the stock rims. Probably if I do that, that will fix everything. Got a uh, Vapid Dominator here, another muscle car with a uh, nice sort of pale blue on it. Again, uh, loving my muscle cars. And lastly, we have got in this garage the Oslo F620. Cost about 80k to buy this one, and again, I'm, I'm really loving the colour. Um, to be honest, some of the early ones I got, um, I didn't know about overlapping colours and putting metallics and pearlescents with each other, which is what I've done here, and uh, adding a bit of Arctic white to it. Just gives it a nice little uh, sparkle, a nice little, nice little lift once the light catches it. Really loving the graphics on this game. Now I've upgraded my uh, graphics card. It looks so sexy. I just want to go and drive around aimlessly. Just check out everything I haven't been seeing before. So we'll take that opportunity and we'll uh, head over to my uh, waterside apartment. Be a good test to see how smoothly the uh, new graphics card's running with these high settings and trying to record and stream at the same time. Obviously, my time off, my uh, editing skills haven't improved all that much either. So I'm just going to drive between the various places. It's a bit dark, so we're not uh, seeing the full potential of the graphics. Let's go check it out. Get inside the garage here. To be honest, since I got the place at uh, Richard's Majestic that we were just in, I've not really come back here too often for the cars at all. Which is a shame because I've got a few uh, alright ones in here. We've got the Ubermark Zion Cabrio, which is the first uh, car that I picked up. For those of you who are still thinking to get this game, the first car that you grab and uh, get the opportunity to customise, you can keep. Um, probably this one will end up making way uh, if I do need to free up a spot. This is probably the favourite car that I own, the uh, Vapid Bullet, the supercar. Um, again, stats, uh, high speed, high acceleration, needs a bit of work on the braking. I really like this, it's a uh, Ford GT40 type copy. Um, when I first bought this, I, I didn't, again, know about the overlapping of the colours, so I might well pull something funky with a dark blue uh, on that one. So we've got the uh, chopper here, the LCC Hexa, um, which is, again, cool to drive around in. Not particularly quick, not going to set the world alight, but it's a cool little thing to have. On the flip side of that, need to sort of something with the colour here, with the red and the orange. I can definitely do a lot better than that. The... Uh, Shih Tzu Hakuchu. I think I did alright with that. It sounded like I was sneezing. But uh, the fastest bike on the game. I might grab that and roll it to the next place. And then uh, we've got the De Classe Granger here. <coughs> Main reason I grabbed this is because uh, you can get eight people in there. You can get um, two in the front, two in the back. Maybe three in the back actually. And then the other guys can hang off the side. A bit like the uh, military do if you have to get them out. Um, which is um, a, a cool little feature. It's good when you're uh, playing um, as part of a crew. Which I have done. Just because I've forgotten myself, I'll have a uh, quick jump up into the apartment and see what it looks like. Really messy bedroom. Bed unmade. Cheeky bit of women's underwear on the floor. Pokey little kitchen living room area. So you can see why I took the opportunity to move up in the world. But nice to be by the water, by the same token. Let's grab my uh, super bike here. Uh, 
And let's cruise over to my uh, last garage, which is over by the airport. I've got a plane actually as well. I might uh, show you that depending on time. While I'm heading over there, I might get that delivered actually. So this garage we're going to, I've completely forgotten about. It's got some uh, some odd things, some cars that will uh, be making way if I need to free up some garage space later on. Hope I don't get wiped out by these two guys that are uh, chilling by Los Santos Customs. Managed to get away with that. Thinking my day one in uh, Vice City, we had an interesting time where there was some old school um, propeller plane just sitting in the middle of the road, and I got gunned down. I'm pretty sure you do see some interesting stuff. Right, okay, so as you can see, this is my forgotten about garage. Nothing um, too special in here. Got the Rusty Rebel. I don't know why I grabbed this. I'm pretty sure I just wanted to get the first vehicle I could find to get myself back down here, and it ended up staying. The lovely torn interior there. There's the, uh, the Class A Tornado. Nothing uh, particularly special there as far as the stats go. Quite a nice looking uh, thing though. Kind of going with my old school muscle car type vibe. And then we've got the uh, good old fashioned bravado uh, rat loader. <laughs> Complete with the uh, knackered front grille. Bonnet missing. Again I probably need to do a bit more with the uh, customising on this. But it's a cool little thing if you're messing around with your mates to rock up in this if nothing else again another uh, muscle car De Classe Vigero I think I only grabbed that because it was cheap going again for the sky blue vibe and we've got a uh, BF Surfer here as well which is uh, always good so let's take out while I go and uh, check out my plane let's get the rat loader out And then hopefully I'll be able to get my plane dropped off at the airport and this won't take too long. Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Your beautiful new aircraft is waiting at our nearest airfield. We hope you're very happy, sir. And cool, as you can see, I'm not too far away from it as the crow flies. But you can't get to it direct, so I'm going to have to go the long way around. Let's get inside this thing. World class uh, interior going on here. Vintage. Now the sun's out, we've got the chance to. Uh, Taking the scenery a little bit. Cornering is non existent. It's got not cycle. Not the motorcyclist off, got to be done. Displaying my uh, non-existent driving skills. If 
You have to do it the quick way and... Oh, that was smooth. That was really smooth. But here we get it. Here we have it. Oh wait, that's not my plane. Oh my bad. I'm not stealing it, guys. Sorry. Didn't think that was mine. All right, let's go. Grab this and check out uh, some of the action. This is my uh. Lovely green mallard. Bit of stunt plane. Sprunk extreme, basically a sprite uh, plane. Let's get this thing in the air, try not to crash. Oh wow. Let's take a quick look at the Los Santos in the air while we're here. So why don't I just take this guy out? That'll be fun. Totally sorry, but it appear your vehicle has been destroyed. Yeah, my bad. Sorry about that. And so anyway, this has been Crossy of Eclipse Gaming TV, giving you another update on GTA Online and uh, my three garages as they stand. Thank you very much for watching and catch you next time.